Hi, this is me again. This is Mystique. I'm here with another video. Actually, this is a video on the Samsung Galaxy Skyrocket. So, this is just a brief introduction. I know the Skyrocket has been out for um, a couple of months, but it's still a very good phone. It's the Galaxy S2, the second uh, iteration for AT&T um, with the larger screen. Let's cut this camera. Let's, let's cut this off. Okay. It has basically a 4.5 inch screen, diagonal, um, a front facing camera, there it is, uh, capacitive keys, it has a power button on the right side, which most Samsung devices do, uh, an 8 megapixel camera with a flash, a very, very good camera, I mean very good camera. I'm going to do some comparison videos later between the Samsung Galaxy S3, the Samsung Galaxy Skyrocket, and the Samsung Galaxy Note. Uh, it has a speaker grill on the lower bottom. Um, feels good in hand. A micro, um, sorry, micro, a charging port on the bottom, and a volume rocker on the left side. Nice, sleek, finish, black. Let's get this turned on. Um, right now, this has a launcher on it, so... It's pretty smooth. Let's unlock it there. Oh, let's get our Facebook. It's got Wi-Fi on. But as you can see, it has a, what is it? A dual core Snapdragon processor. I believe it's um, clocked to 1.2 gigahertz. 1.5 gigahertz. Which one is it? 1.2? Are you sure? I thought that was Xeno's processor. I'm sorry, guys. This is not my device. This is my Beyonce's device. But uh, it's just as quick. I had the Samsung Galaxy S2. I'm not talking about benchmarks or uh, Adrenal Marks graphics and all of that. I'm just saying day to day use. As you can see, we play Star Legends, Dark Legends. Um. He wants to go to the settings. Okay. No but here, folks. These are the settings. Let's go to about phone. There we are. About phone. It's got a uh, pretty uh, quick, um, of course, it's on gingerbread, the Android 2.3.6. wonder when they're going to get the ice cream sandwich. But build number, kernel. Okay, baseband. It doesn't tell you that in settings. Anyway, just in general day-to-day -day usage is what I am. I'm not trying to be uh, go very deeply into the technical aspects. It's very swift phone. But what I can tell you about AT&T 4G phones, which has been my experience, um, is that 4G LTE burns through a battery very quickly. We have ordered an extended battery for this device. And for every LTE device I have had, I'm looking at you, Samsung Galaxy Note, and I love you to death. You're my favorite phone. Um... I've used an extended battery. I'm a gadget girl anyway, so I use extended batteries. But anyone that's looking into getting any LTE device, whether on Verizon or AT&T, just real-world usage, I would suggest that you invest in external hardware like extended batteries and um, extended battery cases because they have some pretty good uh, slim extended battery cases for these devices. So I'm going to be doing some comparison videos a little bit later. Thank you, and this is Mystique, and this is me doing another video. Thank you. Bye-bye.